what's up guys today we're going to be going over all the shotguns on the test server and talking about the changes to the shotguns so i have a spreadsheet pulled up right next to me we have a uh, zero to five meters you're gonna have 100 percent of the base damage of the shotgun six to ten meters each pellet does 75 percent 13 meters and above it's gonna do 45 percent of the base damage a headshot with a shotgun is going to do 1.5 times the damage and that's a headshot with a pellet the pellet is going to go somewhere in that spread uh hit fire spread has been increased slightly while all the ads has been increased slightly I have time for a coffee. moving will increase the spread obviously ads or un ads you won't be able to see it while ads but it will be there and uh yeah, basically making shotguns a little bit more viable to hold angles with versus just running around hit firing them. So this is I'm gonna start with Buck shotgun. Two shots. Three shots. Three shots. Two shots. And then obviously the hit fire. A 10 meters is not going to put anything down. Yeah. 10 meters is not going to do anything. ADS, you still have a chance because, I mean, as fast as you can go. Boom. All right, let's keep on moving. All right, here we have the smoke shotgun. Hit fire. Two. Two. The hit fire is still effective. If you need to. ADS. One. Kill shot. Kill shot. Kill shot. There was a couple headshots. There was only three pellets connecting, but one of those was a headshot. Kill shot. So one thing I like to do with shotguns is when I'm shooting, I like to Stay hit fire, and as I peek out, I'm going to ADS quickly because it's going to count as an ADS shot. That was pretty bad. Here we go. And so the goal here is the ADS as you see them, so you get the most accurate shot possible because, like, you're going to be able to acquire your target extremely quickly, like this. And then you ADS you them down. Order more but give the most effectiveness out of your shotgun. I mean, if you just hit fire, chance that you're dying is a little bit higher. But like that, you're probably going to do a little bit better. Okay, let's keep on moving. All right, we're on Castle with his shotgun. Two. Two. It's even better if you go for a headshot, too. Or at least get close, cause hope, hoping that your pellets will connect. That's why I'm like aiming center of mass, because the pellets are going to be in there anyways. And it gives me the most chance to actually hit my target. Because if you just go for a headshot with a shotgun, the chance that you're going to hit a headshot anyways is is pretty low and you're going to lose track of your target in the first place so definitely go for more more for like upper chest boom okay hit fire yeah that's wild all right we got another shotgun we got the super shorty actually usable At 10 meters, Super Shorty is actually viable at range if you have to use it. Definitely wouldn't count on this, you know. But if, if you use this for 10 meters, you're a psychopath, but you gotta, if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Here's the hit fire. Yeah, and then I'm out of ammo, so let's keep on moving. Here we have the GIG in shotgun. Two. One. 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 Boom. 
So, definitely more reliable at range. <laughs> I just... Oh, yeah, there's no way, bro. The hip fire spread of the main build is definitely going to be a little bit more accurate than this. The ADS is very, very nice. And the spread doesn't affect it as much as when you're moving around. Yep, see. But when you're hit, obviously when you're hip firing. You're going to be in a world of hurt versus just doing this. So obviously, if you do need to move and you're not quite sure where they're at and you're like coming around the corner like this, like let's pretend this is a solid wall. I come around, hit fire, ready if they're close. And as I scan out, I'm ready to go ADSing as I peek. Let's keep on moving. Also the Bailiff. Usable at 10 meters. This is like kind of clutch situation. Definitely don't want to rely on this, but if you had to, it's actually somewhat usable at range. One mag, one kill maybe. That's all you need for a secondary. And then here's the hit fire, which is, I'm just, yeah, it's just not even a kill with a full mag, so. All right, let's keep on going. All right, now we got the Sachs on Capkin. Okay. Okay. About a two to three shot shotgun. So not much of a change. So I, I heard a lot of people talking about the, the shotgun change is like going to make a massive difference. So far from what we've seen, honestly, I haven't seen a massive change in the shotguns besides the hip fire. I, so I really think the hip fire just got slightly reduced and the ADS accuracy got slightly increased. So there's been times when you're ADS at like seven meters or so and it doesn't kill them. I feel like this is going to happen a whole lot less. Uh, compared to the main build so this is going to come in operation heavy metal so honestly it's, it's honestly a good thing because the hip fire has always been like oh my god he, he killed me with a hip fire at that range i think that's ridiculous it's you should have to be ads because it does make it could feel more skillful so i don't mind them increasing the range slightly because it is kind of a cqb like close quarters combat game so all right let's keep on moving all right, a shotgun that you all know and love, the M870. Hit fire, still two shot. Most of the time, we're not gonna be standing still while hit firing though. You're gonna be like, kind of doing that. But if you're not ADSing at that point, you're kind of throwing, so. One shot, one shot. Two shot. Two shot. I feel like I kind of missed on that one though. Two shot. One shot. I definitely feel like the headshot multiplier is making a difference. Every time you hear that ping, that's a head a pellet hitting a headshot. Like that so you don't ne need to necessarily aim for the head as long as you're aiming like middle of the chest you're gonna be good to go it does seem to however be a bit more accurate with headshots if you are actually aiming for the head but you just need to be careful that you're not going to miss the shots because it is going to make you lower the damage quite a bit. So that's why center of chest, shotgun, try to blow them away as fast as you can. If you, if you can't hit the headshot, it is going to increase your chances just a little bit in terms of the damage. But like I said, like you saw there, you get a headshot. It doesn't always kill your target. Let's keep on moving. 
All right, here we have the Frost Super 90. Two. Basically, what I'm seeing so far is you can basically use any shotgun you want at range, and it's going to be more than fine. Hit fire. I'm, honestly, the hit fire is not bad on this, but again, moving. Let's still kill. Not bad for the hit fire there. Hit fire is still reliable. Obviously, the ADS does a little bit more. Let's keep on moving. Okay, and now we have uh, Mira's secondary. Uh, I don't know in what scenario you would ever use this to actually frag anybody, but you know what? Why not? Kill shot. Yeah, that's that's rough. And then the hip fire, which is just uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just I'm not even gonna finish that. That's just embarrassing. All right, let's keep on moving. <laughs> Cav shotgun. Okay. I'm definitely seeing a noticeable difference when you are shooting the chest versus the head in terms of actually hitting a headshot. It's like aiming here will sometimes do more damage. Going for the head doesn't always necessarily do more damage. Even though more pellets are hitting the head, it was only doing 1.5 times damage versus like, like there only two pellets hit and that was a headshot versus this five pellets hit it does 80 damage. Two pellets hit with a headshot. Five pellets hits, no headshots. So still, in my eyes, you definitely want to aim, still aim at like center of chest because even if you hit less headshots with your shotgun, more pellets will actually connect, therefore increase the damage. Let's keep on moving. All right, the supernova. Yeah, I expect this to do wonders. Oh, no kill there. Ooh, almost a 200. Okay. So far, definitely the best performing shotgun we have seen thus far. I will double back to the smoke shotgun just to confirm that, but I definitely saw the Supernova doing about this good. This has been the shotgun people have been like craving about. But the hit fire is terrible. But again, you never want to be shooting like that. You want to be doing more like this. Versus just walking back and forth and hit firing and crossing your fingers they that was a 200 moving around again boom all right let's keep on moving all right here we have the mirror shotgun yeah everybody knows that this shotgun is bad for good reason but yeah so but what i've seen so far i would rank these shotguns like this supernova smoke shotgun and then gign shotgun the gign shotgun you would think that would, would have more range than it does but it has about equal levels of range as smoke shotgun but obviously slower fire rate so if you miss that first shot then you are kind of left in the dust but the supernova definitely has decent fire rate but uh definitely has the most range from what i've seen so far and this shotgun's not really even close yeah it is all right let's keep on moving all right here we have legion shotgun hit that hit fire that range was honestly not that bad especially with how fast you can shoot it ads Okay, this was honestly surprising me a lot because I was under the impression this shotgun was just completely terrible, but honestly, it's not performing bad. This could be an option that some people may take. Okay, this is honestly doing a lot better than I thought. 
Whenever I've used this shotgun, I usually die trying to shoot somebody, take them down to like 30, 40 health, and I die. And I'm always ADS. This feels plausible at right? Like, even, this is 10 meters. Not completely 100% kill, but you're going to be shooting more like that. Okay. I don't, I'm definitely noticing a difference with the ADS accuracy on almost all these shotguns making the range of the the shotgun wall ads just a little bit more accurate on every gun to almost be a kill shot even at 10 meters okay now we have ella's shotgun all right i know this is gonna be a beast here we go Definitely not going to be a single shot, but this gun does have that quick return rate. Most people are going to be shooting this shotgun like this. And then they fire. Okay, well, those, most of those miss, so that's not really fair on that. actually kill oh man uh, there's no point in ever doing that you're way better off just doing this ads as you do it it's gonna make it just work so much better and this is going to apply to literally every shotgun there's no point at any type of range like this to ever stay hit fire when you can just ads and just make it do so much more so i actually do appreciate this change all right let's keep going all right now we have the spaz 12. okay definitely not a, a one one hit kill but it's very close to one hit kill with a single shot that would be a one shot kill though The, that was a headshot and it did 34 damage only one pellet though versus six pellets with no headshot all right let's keep on moving and then we have the boss g i'm kidding obviously this is gonna be a one shot it doesn't count as a pump it's only for the pumps like none of the bolty shotguns that function as dmrs are going to count for this <laughs> all right guys and that's it for today how do you guys feel about the shotgun change hit fire overall hit fire Accuracy is going to go down a bit. ADS is going to go up, making the all the shotguns a little bit more accurate at range and a little bit less accurate as the random bullet spray for the hip fires. Honestly, I do appreciate this change because it is definitely very annoying to die to someone that's just, oh, and then they hip fire you and kill you. It's, it can still work, but obviously that's just going to be a little bit more accurate. So... Honestly, I like this change. How do you guys feel about it? Let me know down in the comments below and make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and leave a like down below for more. Until next time. Again, this is on the test server. It's coming soon to Operation Heavy Metal. Peace out.